besties and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I cannot get that one damn Lana Del Rey song out of my head. I'm not gonna sing the entire sentence, but it goes like, My dun dun tastes like Pepsi Cola. <laughs> Anyone know what I'm on about? Let's move along. Huh. Okay, we are going to be talking about Mrs. Trishy Fishy, the trishiest of all fishies, Trisha Paytas, in this video. Now, if you're aware, there was the ongoing and still, well, that's what ongoing, Adam, stay in school. <laughs> Drop out. Um, there's that drama that's still going on between Trisha, Shane, Ryland, Jeffrey, Hair by Jay, all of them thrown together in a blender, shit on it, that is it. You know the video of Lady Gaga where she's like, amazing, show-stopping, um, shit in a blender, like mix it, it's like that one? Adam, stay on track. Damn, okay. Whew. Am I okay? <laughs> so, okay, I honestly needed a break from that story. Like, it was constant in January. You're aware. Like, it was every single day, there were more videos by Trisha, more tweets by Trisha, more TikToks by Trisha, and I was updating you every single day in January, and it was getting spicier and spicier, and more heated and more heated every single day. But it just, like, hit a point in the last week of January where I was like, you know what? I'm gonna update y'all on what Trisha's saying in, like, a week's time. Like, I need a break from, like, hearing Trisha talk about this, and no shade, you know, I'm, I'm all for her, you know, speaking up against, you know, if she was in, you know, a bad friendship, or, you know, getting the, like, courage and support to be able to do that. I'm not speaking against that, I'm just speaking that, like, whenever I was hearing a day in, day out, I just needed a break. And, like, that's coming from someone who covers this every day, it was a lot. So, over the past, uh, week and a half, I've kind of rounded up the videos that she has done talking about this, and we're gonna look at them. So, this is gonna be, like, one big compilation video of unseen videos of Trisha talking about Shane, talking about Rylan, talking about Jeffrey. And let's just say, she did not hold back. Trisha started this by saying that she doesn't want anyone to be cancelled, and that she's gonna stop talking about this. And now, she's basically saying that she's not gonna stop because these people don't take accountability. Um, going on that Ryland passed off the responsibility onto her and she's angry about that. So, there's just so much to catch up on. I have not watched these videos. I have just been sent the ones that I know we haven't seen yet. And we're gonna go through this together. I really like looking at my videos as an opportunity of if it's like a sleepover where we're like looking at the drama together. So, here we go. We have like nine videos. Uh, let's get through it. I think I'm going a bit too fast today. I went through it and to it at the same time. Through it. I need a moment. Allegedly. Okay, I'm back. What was that? Oh, I get so excited to film sometimes. Okay, so, the first video, she's responding to a comment that says, the more she posts about it, the less people are going to support his comeback and we don't want him back about Mr. Shane Catlover Dawson. I didn't say it, you said it. Yeah, people were like, Trish, get over it. Well, I'm not gonna get over it, and then I'll never get over it, because these people don't have to take accountability. These people can just go about their lives, brush over it, have right. their people, their little lapdog fiance, huh? the hairstylist. Like not the lapdog fiance! It's not funny, I'm not laughing at it. I'm trying to be unbiased in the situation. Trisha, you were shady for that. Hashtag Team Ryland. Say, the hairstylist, they sacrifice the people around them and they never take accountability. She's mad. For anything. She and they don't learn. They don't get it. They say they do. They'll have an apology, throw in therapy in there, <gasps> but they don't change. And it's not okay. The amount of trauma I have from this the trust issues I have from this are greater than far more than any ex-boyfriend, daddy issues, or whatever could give me. Because this is someone I never lied to, never said one bad word about for 12 years. And I find out every single day more and more nasty, vile shit he said about me. So I'm not going to let it go. Oh. <clears throat> Damn. Okay, so... This is coming off of the voicemails Trisha being sent of Shane allegedly shit-talking and making fun of her. So... What she's saying there about, you know, these people will just do an apology and throw in therapy is such a jab at Shane because that's exactly what he does every time. You know, he does an apology video and he says, you know, I'm in therapy working on this. And Trisha now obviously knows the behind the scenes of this and is throwing that in. So it's kind of like screwing over if he comes back and uses that line because Trisha has been telling us and telling us that that's what he uses behind the scenes and says he's going to use to the public to make it go away. So that is the, only the first one. So the next video, someone said... Trisha knows when she's been wrong before and took accountability. That's 
not gonna bet ahead of ourselves. They've been planning their comeback for months and Trisha is like, nope. So about Shane and Jeffrey and Ryland. Did Ryland ever go away? I don't know. This just goes to show what kind of horrible human beings they are. Not as a, not just as a person and as a friend to like me, like they're shitty, but to like the internet. Like just everyone thinks, and it works most of the time. Look at David Dobrik, you just don't address stuff and it goes away. And that is the truth. So a lot of people will never have to take accountability for their actions, for being a shitty person, because yes, the internet forgets stuff, the drama moves on, something else happens or whatever. This just shows- like This drama never seems to be moving on. <laughs> That's what kind of crappy people they are. When I hurt people, even if it's unintentional, even if it's not made intentional, when I hurt a group of people on the internet and people are mad at me, like, I address it. Like, it literally eats inside of me until I address it and at least try to explain or say something. <gasps> say something. That's a Kylie Minogue song. S -s 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 say something. Say something. Who knows it? Where's my Kylie Minogue? Please make yourself known in the chat if you're a Kylie Minogue fan. You know what? I fuck with you if you're a Kylie Minogue fan. Oh, it's a new song for a new album, Disco. And you stop giving people free promo. Kylie's team, hit me up on PayPal. I take that back. Editor, cut that out. I don't have an editor. Trisha, do you want to be my editor? Definitely. And these people are cowards. And they're rich, so they'll hide behind lawyers or lawsuits or they hope it goes away or whatever. It just speaks volumes to their characters. And it's sad. Oof, okay, so the next one says about Ryland. This one's calling Ryland out. There was a lot calling Ryland out. It says, when they do hot topics but don't want to be talked about when it's about them. So Ryland having a T podcast channel, but whenever the T is about him, it's too hot. Too hot T. That little weasel was so happy to have a little bit, a <laughs> tiny little bit of spotlight, a tiny little shine on him. He like couldn't wait to talk about it. He had that big ass smirk on his face. He jumped on it real quick. When Shane was getting canceled last year for stuff that like he actually deserved to be canceled for, and that's why once again I'm reiterating, I blindly defended without actually looking at the things that people were talking about. That there were some innocent jokes, but no, there was some nasty racist shit in his videos and some gross bestiality shit that he should have been canceled for. And guess what? They stayed silent. But Rylan was so quick to jump on this and be the lingo weasel he is, trying to be on like Jeffrey's good side. He's denounced here by Jay, even though that came directly from Jeffrey. But he's such a lying little weasel. Well. I almost, almost, almost respect Shane a little more for at least not lying. Like, I have to believe they corroborated that because I don't think Shane would have left it out if he didn't approve it because, like, he's daddy. But <coughs> I've never seen a little lying weasel in my life. She did not just, like, she did not just do, like, Ryland calling Shane daddy. Ah, oh, so embarrassing. I wish I didn't hear that. <laughs> I was a lot happier when I had not heard that. Oh, can you imagine like Trisha, Shane, and Ryland hanging out and like Shane is just um, like talking with Ryland and Ryland's calling him daddy instead of Shane? <laughs> I want to be excluded from this narrative. So the, the next video says, I'm so proud of you for standing up for yourself and leaving the toxic people in your life behind. Now it's also interesting what Trisha's saying that like, Ryland was the one that reignited this. We talked about this in my last video with Ryland. Basically that without him, this would have gone a completely different direction and Trisha wouldn't have made her videos because she made her videos about him coming back on the podcast and lying on Trisha's name allegedly. So I mean, there's something to be said about that. Like Trisha wasn't the one that started this. <laughs> just don't tolerate people talking bad about me for literally no reason oh someone tells you i have an interest in meeting up with them as a friend and you're gonna just say i'm a pathological liar for absolutely no reason and no context behind it i'm calling it out but mainly this one because i went so hard for him so so hard for him and blindly like i said blindly like i kind of just went hard like from what he said what he was telling me i went blindly i trusted him with my life i trusted him with all my secrets i blindly defended him and i look like an idiot I do. When I, when I, when I watch this video by D'Angelo Walls, I like, I look like an idiot. This person is doing like disgusting, yeah. unforgivable things. The stuff with his animals aren't just jokes. There's like physical actions. So it's not just like, oh wow, you made up lies. Oh. You're, you're the sociopath. It's really me distancing myself as clear as possible from that disgusting human being that is Shane Dawson. Oof. 
I never thought I would hear Trisha Paytas say any of that. Ooh, okay, next one. Look, in my heart of hearts, I am like happy in life. I am. I just, again, wanted to make a clear distinction that I don't support this anymore and to let him know that I know all the shit that he's been talking. But hair by J, Jeffrey, stuff aside, you know, Jeffrey did apologize. Jay had apologized, you know, even before all this. I chose not to accept the apology. I chose to accept the apology from here by Jay. I chose not to accept the apology by Jeffrey because I heard he was still just talking poorly about me. But I do want to move on. I mean, the apologies, that's all they can do. That's all you can do. And the person accepts it or they don't. And everyone has to move on. So from that, I move on. But I'm not going to tolerate people that are going to straight up lie. When Ryan went on the sip this week, he straight up lied. And I will always, always, always defend myself on that because that is just gross to me. It's just gross to straight up lie. Sell their soul for the devil and they're gonna have to live with that i'm drawing my line i'm not associated with them anymore do you want to move on i have a wedding to plan a house to move into a great podcast great friends family Oof. Okay, and I think it, it has really shown up that jeffrey and hair by jay apologized but ryland and shane didn't which makes them look even worse in this situation right like this situation's horrible for them However, whenever you look at it, like, Jeffrey apologized, like, even Jeffrey's apologized. Oh, lordy, lordy, lord. Let's go on to the next one. I love you guys so much, and you know I do not believe in anyone being canceled. I really, truly don't. Not Jeffrey, not, not Shane, not Ryan. I don't believe in anyone being canceled. I think that's weird. I think that's, like, bad karma. I, and, you know, like... Like, I don't, like, I don't want to mess with anyone's money, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I want everyone to, like, succeed. And I actually want everyone to be happy. That, that is not my point of any of that. My point always and has been, like, people I have, that I talk about is, like, having accountability, have some accountability. Don't talk about people's sexual health. Don't talk about people's mental illness. Don't lie on people. Like, have some accountability. It, it's helped me grow so much. And, like, Three. it just bothers me to no end when people can't just, like, say, I'm sorry, I messed up. Like... And it's not bothering me because they can just get away with it. It's bothering me because they're not, like, getting any growth from it. Like, accountability and owning up to mistakes and, like, really, like, getting it and, like, opening your eyes and ears, like, helps you grow to be, like, a better person. It's actually amazing. And I actually want that for people. Her conversation there is completely right. Her, co or, like, her morals in that conversation are right. Um, I agree with her and what she's saying there. Um, it's an interesting approach that, you know, she's taking because we can look at videos that she's made and whatever but i mean in terms of just looking at this conversation at face value like her morals seem to be there that you know she's like jeffrey's moved on hair by jay's moved on but y'all continue lying on my name allegedly oh i don't even need to say it anymore allegedly <laughs> so you know what i mean okay let's go on to the next one I'm able to finally be in like a stable relationship and like be happy in life because i like went to therapy but i had to like literally get like Educated. I had to get people like in my ear and I had to get people like, sc like screaming and stuff at me to finally like, get it to like go through my head that like I there's something wrong with me, like I need to change. And I had to like look at myself and like I I'm so blessed that people have given me second, third, fourth, fifth chances. Not only people online, people in real life, you know. Fifth chances, um, Trisha's really, been a lot like, more than that. Elevate myself. I would have never been able to be in a relationship where I'm like working things out and stuff like that if it wasn't for you know the internet like calling out my toxic behaviors so grateful for people who have given me like multiple chances for like being with me through getting help and the people who couldn't stick with me i'm appreciative of them too you know because they were they taught me hard lessons like i'm losing people in my life unless i fix myself i have so much more work i have to do by myself i'm like so far from perfect and while this is way deeper than just trauma i truly want to see people like do better because they're humans and they're capable of that okay and then the next one one more quick note is my skin. Um, so yeah, about last month, um, people on front of me noticed that I had like an enlargement right here, and I went to go get it checked out by my thyroid doctor. And my thyroid sent me to get like an ultrasound and blood work, and he was just like, um, he's like, it's not your thyroid, so I'm gonna send you to an ears, nose, and throat doctor. So I made an appointment with the ears, nose, and throat doctor, and he looked at my charts or whatever, and he's like, yeah, it's above two centimeters, so that's when it gets kind of risky, and we have to do a biopsy. Well, blood work came back, and I have a lot of hormonal imbalances inside my body, which has something to do with whatever this is it's the soft tissue part of my neck i don't even really know what that means but it has nothing to do with my thyroid which is 
sucks because like I know thyroids are somewhat of an easy fix. But he's pretty concerned with my shortness of breath as well. And so on Monday I have an appointment for an EKG test with my cardiologist. And then I have to get this like biopsy where they like stick a needle in there because it's above two centimeters. And that's when it gets risky. So before anyone makes fun of my skin, I'm not on meth or anything. It's just hormonal and like a lot of stuff going on in my body is there that. As we all know, I have a shitty diet. <laughs> Okay, completely unrelated. We have two more TikToks about Shane and Ryland, but in terms of health, Trisha, I'm sending you all my best, and I um, hope everything works out all right. Um, again, I'm so sorry you're going through that. Okay, but then, back to the the next day, Trisha made this TikTok, um, responding to a comment that said, Trisha, you said you wanted to move on and uh, make fun TikToks again, but you're still dragging this out. So then the next day, she made this one. Yeah, I thought about it, but that's when he was like a friend, and I was mourning the loss of someone that I thought was, you know, an empath, compassionate. Not empath. I mean, a human at its basic level, but when I realized that he's literally the spawn of Satan talking shit about me for 12 years, or at least five, oh. and who knows what else, making up lies about my STDs, my pathological liarness, calling me a sociopath. I changed my mind. He might be the most toxic person I've ever met, the scariest person I've ever met, two-faced, and I blindly defended him and his disgusting behavior, actions, and jokes. I regret it, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop undoing that. First of all, empaths. We're all empaths on this channel, aren't we besties? The besties are empaths. And moving on, like, again, it's, it can be so, we can get so caught up in this because there's so much coming out about this, but still, like, I can't imagine your friend of 12 years, like, being told all this information that, you know, they have been allegedly shit-talking you behind the scenes and making fun of you and using you for things. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Come on, alleged bear. Allegedly. Perfect. It's, it's upsetting, and you, again, it's like putting yourself in that situation and being like, damn, like, damn, ma. And again, I do really just feel sorry for her in this situation about being betrayed by, you know, her friends. But not to dwell on that conversation even more about my opinions on that, because I have made it very clear that, you know, in this argument I stand with Trisha because it's a very upsetting turn of events, at least, an unexpected one. So the last video, at least, sorry, just to reiterate again, the besties are empaths. If you see this, comment below, I am an empath. If you say it, that means you are one. Period. So, someone said, the fact he's being cancelled after <laughs> the About Shane. The fact he's being cancelled after being cancelled whilst on a break for being cancelled makes this even funnier. <laughs> then she says, Cowards. You know who stay quiet? Guilty people. And if you do both, you do the math, baby. So she's basically saying he's a guilty card. Whew! Okay! Now we're all caught up to speed! Woo! Well. Oh, this is like this is like the ongoing saga, and I think it's going to continue until he comes back, and then whatever Trisha does whenever he comes back will be interesting. To say the least, I want to know what you think is going to happen there. <laughs> I just think her saying that, you know, like she has no problem continuing talking about this because these people never take accountability is interesting. We'll, we'll see how that pans out. Um, and again, you know, Ryland keeps reiterating back, so Trisha's gonna keep reiterating back, um, and Jeffrey's just nowhere to be seen. <laughs> um, I love you. Thank you for watching this video, my little empath. Let me know what your opinion is. I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay happy, and stay empathish. Bye, bestie. Sorry, bye, empath. Bye. <laughs>